Hello, Algebra 1 students. This is Mrs. Yowd. Today I'm going to do Chapter 5, Lesson 7, which is all about systems of linear inequalities. Please open up your journals to page 164. A system of linear inequalities is a set of two or more linear inequalities put together in a system. A solution of the system of linear equalities is any ordered pair, always written in the form x, y, that is a solution of all of the linear inequalities in that system. The graph of a system of linear inequalities is the graph that shows all of the solutions for the system. In the example below, we can see the steps for graphing a system of linear inequalities. Step one is to graph each inequality in the same coordinate plane. You'll notice that that's what they did here. They graphed y is less than x plus 2 using this dashed line, and it's everything below that dashed line. And then they graphed y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 1 with a solid line and everything above that solid line. Step number two is to find the intersection of the half planes that are the solutions of the inequalities. This intersection is the graph of the system. So in our case here, in this example, since this area right here is double shaded, then that means that all of the points within that double shaded area are solutions. So for example, 0, 0 is a solution of the whole system, and 0, 1 is another solution. And negative 2 comma negative 1 is another solution. And obviously there are many, many solutions in this system of linear inequalities. On the next page, in exercises 1 through 4, we're going to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the system of linear inequalities. So for these four problems, the answer will be either yes or no. Here's how we solve it. We're going to take the problem, or take the point, so for example, I'll do number two. So this is x and this is y. I'm going to substitute the x and the y into both equations, or excuse me, both inequalities. So the first one is y is less than three. So we're going to substitute the y in, so that is one is less than three. That is a true statement because one is less than three. Now let's go ahead and plug it into the next inequality, y is greater than x minus four. So y is 1 is greater than x is negative 1 minus 4. So that would be 1 is greater than negative 5. This is also true. So that means since it's true for both inequalities, the answer is yes. So what you're saying when you say yes is that yes, this point, negative 1 comma 1, is a solution for this system of linear inequalities. Let's do number 1. So in number one, x is zero and y is also zero. For, so for the first linear inequality, we have zero is greater than two. This is a false statement because zero is not greater than two. So that means that I don't even need to bother plugging it into the second linear inequality. I know that my answer already is no. I would like for you to go ahead and do numbers three and four on your own. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. For number three, I got no, and for number four, I got yes. If you made a mistake, please pause the video and see if you can find your mistake. For the next problems, we need to graph the system of linear inequalities. I'm going to do, go ahead and do number five for you. So I'm going to first, I like to do these in different colors just because it makes it more interesting. So I'll do the first one in blue. So y is greater than negative 2, crosses the y-axis at negative 2. And because it's just greater than and not greater than or equal to, we need to put a dashed line. Now I'm going to plug in 0, 0 into this equation. So we have 0 greater than negative 2 which is a true statement. That means I'm going to shade everything above it. Okay, now I'm going to choose a different color and I'm going to graph the next one. So we have y is less than or equal to 3x plus 0. Since the y-intercept is not there, we know that it's 0. So I'm going to put my point of 0, 0. 
and uh, my slope is up three over one. So we're going to count up one, two, three over one, and my next point will go here. And then I will just continue that uh, down as well. This is going to be a solid line because it's y is less than or equal to this time. This time I cannot plug in 0, 0 into my equation because the line actually crosses through 0, 0. So I'm going to plug in the point 1, 1 instead. So we have 1 is less than or equal to 3 multiplied by 1. So that's 1 is less than or equal to 3. That is also a true statement. So I need to uh, shade towards that point. Okay, so now I need to find my answer. Remember, my answer is the part that is double shaded. The part that is double shaded is this region here. And I suggest if you have a highlighter that you use a highlighter for this because it just makes it look kind of nice. So this is my highlighter here, and I'm just going to go ahead and double shade that. I would like for you to go ahead and try number six on your own. The part that I double shaded in number six is this region right here that is highlighted in yellow. If you made any mistakes, please pause the video and see if you can find them. Let's go ahead and take a look at number eight. For number eight, I notice that six is divisible by three and by two. So that means that the easiest way to graph this would be to find the x and the y intercepts. When I plug in zero for x, I get 3y is less than 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my y-intercept is 0, 2. When I plug in 0 for y, I get 2x is less than 6. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so that means that 3 is my x-intercept. Um, I notice that I need to put a dashed line on here because it's less than and not less than or equal to. Now I'm going to plug in my point 0, 0. So we get 0 plus 0 is less than 6, because 2 times 0 is 0. 0 less than 6 is true. So that means that I'm going to shade toward that point. Let's go ahead and do the next one. The next one I can actually put into y equals mx plus b form fairly simply by adding 1 to both sides. So that turns into y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. My y-intercept is at 1. My slope is down 2 over 1. So I'll go ahead and put all of those points on here. Uh, it is greater than or equal to this time. That means that I need to put a solid line here. All right, now I'm going to plug in a point not on the line, and I'll choose 0, 0 again. 0 greater than or equal to negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. So 0 greater than or equal to positive 1 is false. That means I need to shade away from that point. OK, so now the only thing left to do is to take out my highlighter and to highlight the double shaded areas. So this is the double shaded area here. I would like for you to go ahead and do number 7 on your own. Here's what I got for an answer on number 7. Please check your answer, and if you got anything incorrect, pause the video and see if you can find your mistake. In these last four problems, we need to actually write the system of linear inequalities represented by the graph. So let's take a look at number 9. I notice that my double shaded area is here. So I'm going to go ahead and write this equation first. So for that equation, we're going to do y, and then we have to figure out what goes here, uh, 3. So it's because it crosses at 3. Now notice that the y is everything below it, right? So it's this and below. So that means that it's going to be less than. I notice that it's not less than or equal to because it's a dashed line. Now I'm going to do the other line here. So we have x this time. We need to figure out what goes in the box. And it's going to be 2, so it crosses at 2. And it's every, all the x's are below it. And so it's going to be less than again. So that means that our set of linear inequalities is x less than 2 and y is less than 3. I would like for you to try number 10 on your own. For number 10, I got y is less than 3 for this line and y is greater than 1 for this line. Let's take a look at number 11. 
The double shaded is this area in here. So we're, I'm first going to look at this solid line here. So we have y, and then we need to figure out what that is. Now my slope is up 1 over 1, so we have 1x. And my y-intercept is positive 1, so it's plus 1. OK, so I'm going to figure out what goes in there. I know that it's uh, either less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So I'm going to pick a point that is uh, part of the answer. So I'm going to use this one here, which is negative 1, comma, 1. So I'm going to plug that into my equation. So y is 1, and then we're going to put that here. We're trying to figure out what goes in there. Um, negative 1 is my x plus 1. So 1. And then I have 0. Uh, 1 is greater than 0. So that means that my answer is going to have greater than or equal to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other equation. So the other equation, we're going to have y and then our, uh, our sign. My slope this time is negative, and it's negative 1. So negative x. My y-intercept is also 1. So we're going to put plus 1 there. OK, once again, I'm going to choose the exact same point. I'm going to plug that in. So we have 1, and then we have negative, negative 1 plus 1, which is 2. So this time it is less than. So that is going to be our symbol that goes into the equation. So my answer for number 11 is y is greater than or equal to x plus 1 and y is less than negative x plus 1. And that's the answer for number 11. I would like for you to try number 12 on your own. For number 12, I got y is less than negative x plus 1 for this line here, and y is greater than negative x minus 2 for this one here. If you did not get it correct, see if you can find your mistake. OK, that's it. Thanks for watching.